guys welcome back to the rig building project now these parts are going to be uploaded in sort of random orders because these are all just different considerations so although this may be part three or part seven and whatever by the time i get around to uploading it it's not important these are just all considerations in it taking place before actually assembling the, the whole rig together power considerations okay so how are you going to power this entire unit two options you've got power distribution versus power conditioning power conditioners are designed to condition the power that comes in so the power in the UK particularly I'm told is quite dirty and it can be noisy it's not exactly 100% reliable it can be sort of like a 10 to 20% tolerance in what you're actually getting in terms of voltage um, also I'm told so my basic research has led me to believe so a power conditioner is really good and I use the Samsung PS10 power strip inside my sort of studio inside all my computer studio gears all connected up most of it through that ps10 just to kind of keep it quiet kind of the optimum optimum power that it can be so when i was going with the guitar rig i thought great that's that's what i want to be using something like the samsung ps10 or you know the Furman units something like that even the behringer ones are probably decent something like that's what i want to be using but all of those or certainly all the ones i could find only have powered iec outlets or kettle lead outlets you know the uh this this sort of plug and that's great when you're using all iec equipment but some of the units i had my eyes on especially some of the more vintage or some of the cheaper units don't have iec power they actually have external transformers either lump in line transformers or in the case of the lexicon mpx1 that i'm uh, mpx100 that i'm using for for reverbs it's got this horrible block wall watt transformer so i was gonna have to have some kind of just power distribution a basic power strip anyway even just for that unit or a couple of other units that i've got my eyes on so then i thought right let's just try going with power distribution and i got hold of this unit from a seller on ebay it was like rack supplies limited or rack supplies uk or something and that's just a basic six um, outlet power distributor it's got no power conditioning in it does have surge protection in there which is always handy basically it'll cut out in a power surge as opposed to passing a surge voltage on the amps and some of your sensitive equipment especially the rack units can be quite sensitive especially the older ones so i went with that so i've put most of the rig together and um, using that that supply and it's it's quiet enough you know what i mean there is some noise probably coming from the power but i've isolated all of the units in the rack hopefully that's going to bring that noise level down a bit no doubt about it if i was using something like the ps10 the iec outlets that's going to be quieter still and that's going to be the optimum solution but in terms of budgetary constraints and also based on the fact that i was going to be using one or two units that had wall water lump in line transformers and possibly more so with that in mind I just went for the power distributor over the power what's the word i'm looking for power conditioning so i just went for distribution over conditioning when i put the rig together fully and i'm, I'm gigging it etc and i'm using it in the studio if i find it's really noisy i might pull the ps10 out of the studio and try plugging in as many units as i can with that and see what kind of audible and noticeable difference it makes but for me i'm going with distribution but i would highly recommend conditioning especially if you're only going to be using iec outlets uh, iec powered units until next time guys take it easy and we'll come back at you with another topic